Hey there, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Simba from Lion King. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the nose because it's sort of central to where everything else is going to fall together. So let's start with the top bridge of the nose. So I'm going to start on one side and come towards the center just like that. I'll do the exact same shape leading to the other side. So this is the top part of the nose. And basically these two points will come down to a point in the center. So I'll draw a point right about here. And I'll draw a curve leading up to that side. And I'll draw a curve on the other side as well. Okay? From here I'm just going to draw in some nostrils. So here, draw a curve there. I'll draw a curve on this side. Okay, so now I know where I'm going to go to go around to the eyes. So this side here, I'm just going to go up in a curve. Okay? Because this eye is going to be raised up. And this side will be a little bit lower, just like so, okay? And from here, I can come down on one side, the curve. And as I'm going back and forth, I'm going to start to f balance the whole composition of his face out. So here, let's draw the other eyebrow in. I'm going to do a little bit of an overlap over that line, okay? And then the bottom part of the eye, come across like so, okay? So now that I have the eye sockets in, let's draw the actual eyes. So here... I'm going to draw a curve going out, and then back down, okay? And then I'll draw a line just along the bottom, a little bit higher than that bottom line there, okay? I'm going to go back to this side here, and I'll do the exact same. So let's draw the inside part first, okay? I'm going to try to match the size on both sides, so we'll cross like this, and then again on the bottom, I'll just leave a little bit of a gap, all right? Now, let's draw on the pupils, so... I'll draw one larger circle first, like so. Then I'll draw one slightly inside of that, like so. I'll draw a little highlight to the right top corner, and I'm going to color this in black. Okay, let's go to the other side, and I'll do the exact same thing. I'll draw a larger circle on the outside, kind of come in a little bit, and then I'll draw a highlight on the top corner, and color the rest in black. Now that I've sort of figured out the eyes, let's go ahead and thicken up the eyebrows. So this side, I'm just going to kind of go a little bit thicker on the top side here. And on this side, on the top side. And I'll just taper back out. Okay? Now from here, I kind of figured, okay, well, this is where the mouth is going to be. So let's draw the top point of the mouth. Draw a line down. Okay? Then from here, I'm going to draw a curve going out from that point. And I'm going to come around up on both sides just like that okay and over here I'm gonna do the smile line so this is gonna overlap a little bit and blend in with the face same thing on this side come around and out okay from this point I'm gonna draw the chin so let's go from this side let's go towards center okay just like that on both sides and I'm just gonna feather it with a couple little points just to show that there's a little bit of hair, okay? So just a couple little tiny points, okay? Now let's go to the cheeks. So on this side, and then again, you'll see that I'm going back and forth just to balance the whole composition out. So let's start right where the eyes are. And I'm going to come out, come in a little bit, again showing a little bit of hair. And I'll come tuck that in underneath the chin. I'll do the exact same thing on the other side, okay? Come out, back in out, back in, and then tucking that underneath the chin. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. Now, this is where the ears will go, so they're quite large, okay? But before I do that, I'm gonna sort of imagine a line curving around to the top of the head here. So let's draw the, but I have to leave this gap open, okay, for the ears. But let's go ahead and draw this top part of the hair, or part of the head. I'm gonna do a couple points of hair going upward, and then I come around, and start to point them down and towards the middle this way. And I'll finish this part off with a line. So you can sort of imagine this sort of oval shape going around the head. Now let's draw on the ears. Okay, so let's come up a little bit. So this is tucked in behind the head a bit. Come up. And then I'm going to swirl this back. And as I'm coming down, I'm going to draw some more points for fur. Okay, so I got that. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll come up. I'll come around. Okay. And I'm going to draw a couple points. 
I'm checking back just to make sure that I have the right size in comparison. Okay? From this point here, I'm come in and around. Okay? So in and around. I'll do the same thing here. So I'll come in and around and just combine or join that line there. Right? And then from here, on the inside, I can just draw a smaller part of the inside of the ear. And I'm going to do some hairs as well. So a little bit of fur lining going in. Okay? I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. Going around. A couple points of hair. Come back in. And then I'll draw just a couple lines just to show the wrinkles inside the ear. Just like that. Okay? Now to finish this off, let's draw in just some shoulders and some hands. So from this point, under the chin, I'm going to draw a curve. So a double curve. So one down and around. So this is the paw. I'm going to draw a couple fingers. So tucking the fingers in behind each other. So the closer they are, they're going to be on the front of the fingers in the back. So I'm just doing a series of round circles. And you can kind of clean that up a little bit as you go. Kind of come up. All right. And tuck that in like that. Okay. And then I'll draw in a line, doesn't matter if it overlaps, for the paw. Okay. Here I'm going to draw the other paw. So let's go ahead and draw in a curve for the front first finger. Okay, like that. Again, draw in the second finger. Third. And fourth. Let's tuck that back in, finish off that line. And here I'm going to draw in the same paw line. Over here, let's tuck in a shoulder. And if you imagine this arm coming across, I'm going to finish that off this way. Okay. And then the shoulder will come out along this side here, towards the elbow that pokes out. And again, I'm going to draw a bit of fur here. Tuck that in under that paw, just like so. And there we have it. There is Simba from Lion King. Thanks for watching.